and it's how's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. I'm getting ready to make some air fryer wings in my Ninja Foodie Extra Large Grill. I haven't even used any of my air fryers since I got this grill because it air fries chicken as good as a real air fryer. So I'll be making some orange pepper wings. They're going to be neck and wings. Body of orange pepper seasoning. Of course I'm going to, after I wash my wings, I'm going to put some yellow mustard on them. Well I'll show you after they're washed. I'll be using a little turmeric, even though mustard has turmeric in it. Turmeric, turmeric. I'm going to use some sesame because they're going to be orange pepper wings. I want them to be orange. This will make them orange. Sesame plus the seasoning. And after they're done, I'm going to sprinkle some true orange on them. Just like most people would sprinkle salt on french fries after you take them out the grease. I'm going to sprinkle some of this on there. True orange. Let me get this from Amazon. This comes in true lemon, true grapefruit, true lime. Okay. So, oh, I'm going to show y'all. People have been asking me, how do I put my foil in this grill pan? So I'm going to show you. I don't know if there's a right way or a wrong way. Nope. If the... Okay, this is my grill. I just got to washing this because it was full of grease. I don't try to get all up under here no more. But it don't come clean. I just broke me off a piece of foil. It was heavy duty. Okay, I'm going to put it on this pan. Just load it in here. Hold the edges down so this top will go down. Once the top goes down, it's in here right. Correctly. I'm going to put this in here. So after I cook my chicken, I can just either wipe this out or take it out and throw it away and put a fresh piece in here. So I don't have to be washing all this stuff. Okay. Okay, it closes nicely. So I'm going to turn it on. Put on air crisp 400 degrees and 20 minutes, 22 minutes. And right now it's preheating. So I'll be back after I have washed my wings and cut them up and I'll show you how I season them okay I'm gonna try to hurry up Bye. okay I wash my wings I'm gonna show y'all how I cut my wings first of all you need some heavy duty kitchen shears so you get this wing I don't like the way this one looks get the wing by the wing tip like that put these shears up in that joint right there and snip and if you have a hard time, it's not in the joint, then for the second cut, get the wing like that, fold it, cut right in that joint. Some wings I don't like the looks of, like they've been in a barnyard fight. I don't like the way that looks. So I'm going to cut this past that, cut through the bone. I got all that nasty looking stuff off of there. And I'll just go on and cut my wing. Oh, I was supposed to sharpen these because I don't want to cut through the skin, but it'll cut through the joints. I'm going to show you one more. Hold it like that. Cut through that. Hold this like that. One more. Then I'm going to finish cutting all the wings and I'll show you the next step for perfectly dry, crispy wings. Okay, I'll be back. 
Okay, the next step is to dry these wings. I've got paper towels to sop up all the water in the bottom of the bowl. Get these wings as dry as possible before I put anything on them. You know the mustard is going to make them slightly wet. Okay, I'm going to need another paper, a couple paper towels. Oops. And dry them as good as possible. And I always sanitize my sink and everything I used when I deal with raw chicken. And I ain't trying to catch nothing. And I ain't trying to spread germs, salmonella and stuff all over the kitchen. One more again. I want to dry. Good. I'm gonna wash my hands and I'll show you how I season them. These are as dry as they're gonna get. Get a nice squirt of yellow mustard, just regular yellow mustard. Oh, that was kind of a lot. You don't need that much. I'm going to season them. Shake this up. I don't taste that much orange in this. That's why I'm going to use other stuff. Oh, this is what this is. Orange pepper. Put it on here freely. You can really, really see the pepper, the black pepper. But you don't taste that much orange. I'm going to put in some turmeric. Just because it's orange. Just a little. I'm going to put in this sasam. You can buy this from Dollar Tree. Or should I use the tahini? See, this got salt in it, and this has salt in it. So, I don't want to go overboard. I use about half of the pack of sasam. I'm going to turn this back on. I had to turn it off because it got ready too fast. So it's preheating again. Put on the gloves so I can smush this chicken around. Chicken looks. Well, it smells good, and I can't smell the citrus. Mm. Yeah. Smell the citrus, y'all. I think I want to put some tahini in here. I always do the most.
and your chicken will not taste like mustard. I put mustard on my ribs, I put it on my fish, put it on pork chops, and then I put my seasonings on, and none of that tastes like mustard. It just adds another layer of flavor. Okay, I'm gonna get the tahini. Put that on there. Do like that. See what I do with it. ready. Okay, this is the tahini. It has seasonings in it and some lime. So this is really going to be some citrusy chicken. Like I said, this has salt in it. Put the glove back on. Another glove on. Smush it again. Got the tahini up in here. You can find tahini at Aldi or Walmart. You got mine from. I ordered these little body bottles from Amazon. Okay, let's season. Look at that. Okay, let's come on over to the grill. I'm not going to put any oil. Um, we're not going to eat all these wings. One, two, three, four, five. Usually when I air fry some wings, the amber comes over. I haven't spoken to her. Watch her show up. Look at that one. Yeah. That's enough. Oops. Okay. Let's show y'all how they look. This is how they look in here. Let me spread them out so. Okay. I'm going to close this. And it's going to cook at 400 degrees for 22 minutes. And I'm not going to flip them over and I'm, and I'm not going to add any oil. These are naked wings, so you don't need oil. The skin makes the oil for naked wings. Now, if I had to put breading on them, then I would need oil. Okay, I will be back. Okay, y'all, here are my orange pepper wings. They're done. I haven't sprinkled the orange stuff on them yet. I didn't flip them over. And they cook on both sides. No oil. I hurry up and put the orange stuff on them. I got some rice cooking in my rice cooker and I got some broccoli on the stove.
Miss me. Sprinkle some true orange. True orange. Some people like a wet sauce. They make a sauce out of marmalade and orange juice and heat it up and then pour that. I just want some crispy wings. Open this stick. Just like when you make lemon pepper wings. At least when I make them. You can't hardly taste the lemon. So I add the true lemon on the wings after they're done. Okay, that's good. This other stuff is cooking, so I'm going to taste one of these wings. Oh, I need a thumbnail. Jump out the way. Here are my orange pepper wings. No oil, no flipping. I'm going to taste one. Let me see. Okay, y'all. This man didn't come in here with his nose all turned up. You better get out of here. Mm -hmm. I like cauliflower. With the cauliflower broccoli. Which one is the white one? Cauliflower. Cauliflower, ain't it? Yeah, cauliflower. Okay. Here's how the wing looks. I taste the citrus. Mmm. I didn't put no oil in this rice. I'm just trying to overflow. Can't tell that it's orange. But I can taste the citrus. So I tell folks it's an orange pepper. They gonna say, okay, I taste the orange because it's citrus. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna make these again. These are good. Mm-mm. 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 Okay, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, here's my chicken. Here's my rice that I cooked in the rice cooker. Don't let it steam to burn me. It's tilted. And here's my broccoli. Put bacon in it and some uh, chicken broth for the liquid and I seasoned it so it's good it smells good so that's my Thursday dinner okay I want to thank you all for watching 
give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed rest of the day. It's 4.38 here. So, bon appetit. Bye.